supposed to do? How real is historic? As real as you want it to be. How can historic be real if uh, paper magic isn't real, you know? How is how real is any format? Flooded strand fetch mist veil planes. Now that is a lot of value. This is the third lead. We went four one into three two, so solid so far. Ah, uh, I keep another ephemerate. I've never bothered with an ephemerate in my life. I haven't played Historic in a little while, but uh, the last time I played it, I remember I really enjoyed it. It's been a while, though. Well, my opponent is representing Path to Exile. Am I gonna bind to Historic? I don't know. I feel like I, f I think Historic is gonna be a dumpster fire after the after the new set comes out. Um, I really don't think it's going to be like, I don't know, This it's just, it's just so out there. Um, and so I'm not like particularly, this is cool, turn four through a path to exile. I like to see Splinter Twin do that. Uh, I, w I really want to play it for like two weeks and play like Phoenix and play Mind's Desire decks and... I, I, but I, I don't really have a lot of faith that the format's going to be in a healthy place after that, you know? So I just, so I, I don't think it's worth it to me to spend like 1500 bucks just to be able to play Historic for two weeks, you know? So I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, my opponent punted. They could have passed in response to the flicker. They did punt, yeah. I don't think that they were aware, like, this was something we could do. I think if I'm tar if I'm targeting the basic planes, I think you should respect the ephemerate. If you know what my deck is, it it seems like there's probably a good chance my opponent doesn't really know what's going on over here. I think I'm gonna cut like one Aria champion for like for a Alst, but it seems like a, seems just like I'm not gonna sideboard very much. Hands good too. If, like the ephemerate and historic, looting and historic, brainstorming and historic, minds desire. Just like so many cards I really want to cast and uh, hope to get to cast. Yeah, I can't. I think the doggo land is good for this, the flavor of this deck. Although, you know, you could maybe make an argument that cats and dogs don't get along well. Like Athena really likes cats, but cat there's Athena's never met a cat that likes Athena. Opponent's playing the mono white version of our deck. Ariok Champion's gonna gain us roughly one billion life. Need to always yes always yield. Well, Felder Guardians, a, it's a cat beast, right? Which is a cool combo, I guess. I kind of want to wait on the Soul Herder until I can, like, I can, like, cast Soul Herder next turn. And, uh... Well, like, I guess... Hmm. Just an abundance of riches. If we play Glass Pool Mimic Tapped here, we have... Infinite Life, Infinite Power next turn. Okay. Infinite life from the Aria Champion, infinite power from the Soul Herder by casting Fildar Guardian. They path themselves, wow. Uh, by uh, flickering our glass pool shores and then uh, just having the, the Guardians target each other over and over again. Opponent can beat infinite life though with their Mistvale planes. They're in a Maria deck, I see.
So I think I'm just going to go until Soul Herder is a 2020. Assuming they don't scoop here. It's not that many clicks once you start yielding to everything. All right, it's a lot of clicks. No, my opponent could beat infinite life. They can also beat the infinite power. They play Feldar planes and they're or Yeah, the the, the, the planes that lets them put cards on top of their library or on the bottom of their library. So they, they have an installation against decking. And then they can also just loop Kami over and over again to stop me from attacking. So I'm just I'm just going until Soul until Soul Herder is infinite power. So I'm going to ask my opponent if they want to call it the Soul Herder Infinite Power. Cool. So now we can stop the loop, which does end with us drawing an extra card. What do you think about Shark Typhoon? I think one Shark Typhoon is good. I, I love it. Love the idea. Now <laughs> we drew the cat or the Sahili. Although they do have Kami of the False Hope. So, I mean, we could Skyclave it. What does Battle Skull have anything to do with being having infinite life? Because they will want to attack with Battle Skull. And also, like, Sword of Fire Ice, Sword of Beast and Famine. Even though I'm at infinite life, it's still like they still would be attacking me even if I have infinite life. So I guess they're getting my soul herder. They get my vial. Weird. That's my point if they wanted to sack Kami. They said, yep. Are they making me click? I mean, it's fine if they want to make me click. Okay, this this second now. Then we'll reset the Sahili. Like we would have anyways. We can combo off again next turn. And we can combo off again next turn. So they're gonna need another, they're gonna need a way to break this up, of course. This is, a very, this is a very interesting game. Plus this Titan in hand, Ugh. but no land, that's so tough. Yeah, we, we probably can't beat the Titan. <laughs> wow. If you gain control for a creature for the first time, it has summoning sickness. It's not just when a creature comes into play. You can Vile a Skyclave on their instep. Oh, that's true, yeah. Although they, they did exile my Vile. I guess that's why they did. Yeah, that's why active treason effects give haste. 
Okay, probably Skyclaving Dragon next turn. I don't think that changes anything. It's kind of a pain to draw. There seems to be dissension among blue red prowess players as to like what blue cantrips to be playing. I've seen some people playing just ops, some people play ops and sight of hands, some people play ops and serum visions, some people play just serum visions. It's kind of interesting. Zero mana spell here to kill my wall would be pretty bad. Could hope they don't have it. They don't have it, cool. So I'm probably gonna triple spell here rather than just guardian flick on my wall. Well, I guess I, sh I guess I should have cast the watcher first. Looking for Aryak champion or glass pool mimic. I'll take the mimic. If we get, I, I guess maybe maybe I should have taken a second skyclave, but you know I'm try. I, I think I want to try to infinitely combo with guardian and Aryak champion. Not that we have one in hand, but maybe we can dig to it. Yeah, I think Serum Visions is probably better. Just like you play like almost exclusively on Sorcery Speed. But I'm not sure. Okay, put two cards on top. That does not bode well for us. I'm assuming they're keeping two cards on top. Gonna take four down to ten. We didn't find the Aryak champion. So I'm taking a soul herder. And I probably I probably need to flicker the wall so I can block with the watcher. Play another wall here. These Aether Vials, man. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I guess put Aether Vial on my deck. Yeah, so now if we, if we find Aryak Champion off of this Watcher, we can go Felder Guardian. <sighs> Still no Aryak Champion. Guess I'll take the Sahili. Well, we could have gone Guardian, Flicker Watcher, put the Aryak Champion into our hand, Violin Champion, uh, and then or copy the Guardian with the Mimic on the returns to play. Have I ever tried Arena Cube? I haven't, no. I've watched some people play it, seems okay. It might just not be dead, you know. Opponent's counting to 10. Dead to Bolt, dead to Burst Lightning, I think. Whatever. Got five, yeah, it's dead. Yeah, too bad we can't Vile and Vile. It'd be pretty good if you could. I, I, I do think this matchup is fine. We've been beating them today. But our plan is to cut the four Sahelis for three Alistair and Ariok Champion. Sahili is just so hard against, so bad against Blue Red Prowess. And Guardian is still an infinite life combo piece. Which makes this matchup way better than it would be uh, compared to the other versions of Cat Combo. Yeah, Stormwing is such a great card. Uh, I do not think that you want to play Damping Sphere against Blue Red Prowess. That seems to be the general consensus. Um, I have not found success bringing it in against them in the past. I have tried it in the past. Do you have a Cyborg Guide for the Cleansing Wildfire deck? Uh, not yet. I, I've been trying to... I've been uh, slacking, I guess. But I plan on putting one out soon. Uh, and the cyber guides are available for subscribers in the discord, but honestly like the only up-to-date one right now is the 
the Squirrel Blade one. Would Winota Pyre of Heroes with Zealous Conscripts, Village Bell Ringer, Kiki Jiki be too clunky? Maybe. Interesting. Interesting thought. That's good. Mystigate makes the mimics look so much better. Yeah, so yeah, I, I was uh, enlightened recently and told that uh, cyborg guides are brain dead. So, I uh, maybe I should just stop making them. Oh, what a sick draw! Now this is actually infinite life on turn four if we draw a land. That was the last. We went, we went four one into three two. Now we're uh, one zero oh in this league. Down a game though. Can I explain why I'm so high on Gargaroth, or is that in the sideboard guide? Um, I mean, Gargaroth is in very good against every Aether Vial deck, uh, sh against Shadow, against Prowess, against um, Eldrazi Tron, against Ponza. It's good against Jond. Just comes in a lot. Good against Dredge. Comes in all the time. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I can't think of a good shell to just jam four Plasm Captures in. I don't. I just don't think there is one, sadly. At least I don't have one off the top of my head. And one nice thing about this infinite life combo is that Ariab Champion is protection from red, and then your guardians have... Um, I think I'm just going to take a, another guardian, maybe? Your, your, your Guardians have, your Pro Red and things have four toughness, so it's pretty hard for them to break it up. And it's also nice that uh, Glass Pool, sure, you, you just get to play it as a land, so you know this combo piece costs you zero mana, and it's also a land. They don't usually, I mean, sometimes they play like Wild Slash, but it's usually like a... Uh, Kozlex return as their answer to Ariak champion. Right, Entity can probably come down next turn, of course. Untap land, which is most lands that aren't in the, in the deck. That's not one of them, though. It's fine. Um, I think I'm just going to attack with the Watcher. You inspired you to buy it to the Esper Inverter Herder deck? Awesome. Yeah, I think that deck's really cool. This deck is very similar to it. I think that this one's better, but both have seemed good to me. The Inverter Herder list, like, also, like, maybe is, like, one card being printed from just being busted. One weird card. You have a lot of time to draw a land. The inverter turn is a little bit sweeter. Yeah, I think so too. I think I agree. Uh, also, inverter herder is a better name. This one, this one has been harder to name. In Leal, thank you for a Twitch Prime subscription. So if anybody has like a descriptive and catchy title, that's that's the key. It's like it, you want your title to be catchy, but you also want people who are not like super in tune with the stream to be able to read it and like know what what's up, you know. Cat Herder? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe that's just it. Herding cats. Cat Herder. Yeah. That seems fine. Red Black Walkers? Uh, yeah. My philosophy on the Red Black Walkers deck is definitely inconsistent. But just the walker's joke is so good. I don't know. All right, so now they need to have... Um, what's the card? Uh, Vapor Snag, which they do play for some reason. Infinite life. Always yes. Always yield. See if our opponent knows what's up. We even have less, more cards in our library than them. Soul Guardian. Do they have Vapor Snag? I 
I am perfectly content to sit here for a while. You can auto yield the stack if you right click similar to auto yield. Yeah, I think that this only works once, right? If you click stack abilities automatically, it doesn't just do it forever, does it? Thank you, shout out to opponent for conceding there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure either. I, I tried it last night, but I was pressing, I was pressing the key on the keyboard, not, um, I think we have to keep this. Put mold to six. Hand's really slow. Now nah, it's small again. This hand doesn't have Ariac Champion. This hand's better. I didn't see that synergy. You should consider playing this game full time. <laughs> I'll consider it. No promises. I actually have no red cards in my deck right now, so I don't need to fetch up uh, a red land, which is kind of nice in this spot. See, Healy is the only red card in the 75. Oh, no entity this turn is so good for us. So you're just blinking the glass pools? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, glass pool also plays really well with Vile, uh, just in general, giving like a good ratio of lands and creatures to Vile in, but it does combo with Guardian. Either two Guardians or Mimic Guardian make infinite ETB triggers, which goes infinite with uh, Aryak Champion and Soul Herder. Soul Herder makes infinite power. Kitty pull combo. Mm. What's the pool? Is it from Glass Pool? Thing, yeah, the problem with this deck, it has so many cards that decks are named after with Vile, Sahili, Cat, Glass Pool Mimic, Soul Herder. I don't know. Just kind of tough to find like a really good one. Per Herder. I feel like that one's like less descriptive than Cat Herder. Which is a problem for me. We are just an Aryak champion away from infinite life. And we have, probably have a decent amount of time to find one. Hmm. I really don't want my opponent to kill my wall, but I think I'm blocking anyways. Probably gonna vile in the mimic. That's Ariok Champion. I can't. How do we lose this game? Does anybody know? I don't see how we lose. We even have an extra Guardian. To like go up in response to something. They have Kozlex return, I guess? Yeah. So maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have waited. Stormwing? I mean, I'm about to get infinite life. Yeah, I think I think Cat Herder. I, I think I'm just overthinking it. I think Cat Herder is what to call the deck. The Lightning Bolt Wall in response, which is doesn't do anything by itself. Now, now they need like Vapor Snag to survive. Sick. Yeah, I, I think, you know, people are talking about how Blue Red Prowess is like this deck's natural predator for like all the other builds of Jeskai Copycat. But I think this deck has a good Blue Red Prowess matchup because of, because of this interaction, which is uh, super important if you want to play Copycat right now. Any sideboard advice for the Toski deck against Black White Stoneblade? I don't think it's on the sideboard guide. You probably have a bad matchup. <laughs> uh, probably have a bad matchup. It's a good question though. 
I should take a look. Let me think about it for a second. Like, you probably don't sideboard very much at all. I think you probably want, like, two Force of Negations for Lingering Souls. And you probably don't want Borrower. So you probably cut, like, those two cards for two Veil of Summers. Just call it a day. Um... So this is like the, the, the deck Yama was playing yesterday, the uh, Obosh Prowess. Yeah, if that card was three mana, I think it'd make the cut. Why is every opponent playing Swiss Spears on this channel? Swiss Spears is so popular, man. It's the best card in modern, I think. I don't think I want to play a second Ephemerate here. Really nice that we get to kill the Bone Crusher. Oh no, I stuck my triggers wrong. I, I, sh I would much have rather flickered the wall than the inspector. It was a mistake. What's the best card in modern? Monastery Swift Spear, I think. That, that would, th this is my pick for best card in the format. I'll probably just let this go. You think Ridden Six? I don't know. Ridden Six isn't in that many decks. Swiss Spear is like the best threat in. Swiss Spear is the best deck in like four different decks. Maybe it's not the best threat in Jun's Shadow, but it's like pretty good. How does Toski match up against Infect? I think it's fine. It's a very Time Raveler is like really good against them. Ice Fang's really good against them. I'm taking the vial up. Oh, I was probably supposed to fetch a basic. Although I guess we have Skyclave to deal with Blood Moon if they are on Blood Moon in the main. I can't remember what these people are doing. <laughs> the Hayashi clan. <laughs> they are on Blood Moon. They discarded two? I feel like they could have played one. I don't know. I said they have Bolt, they get to kill my wall, but it's like their last card, you know? Let's Skyclave their Swift Spear. Um, I should probably take the Vile up to four. Because I could just win the game. No, they have Lava Dart. They have Lava Dart. Yeah, so I'll leave the Vile on three. Take this one up. So what we can do here is we can get Basic Island to play around Blood Moon, and then we can play Soul Herder, and then uh, on our instep, my opponent is going to Lava Dart the Soul Herder because it's a 3-mana 1-1, one, one. but then we can Aether Vial in the second Skyclave to exile Seasoned Pyromancer to save the Soul Herder from the Lava Dart. So I think my opponent's made a mistake by letting me get my trigger. Maybe they didn't have a stop set. I may have missed this, but you could discuss playing Odin God. Uh, I don't think so. I'll, maybe I'll take a little look at that card. It's kind of an interesting interaction. So I'm just going to play another Soul Herder with the same plan. I guess I'll also Sahili and plus. Overwhelm their Lava Darts, gamers. All right, up a game against Hayashi Prowess. Definitely bringing in Ariak Champion number four. I guess, I guess we'll just sideboard in the same way we do against Blue Red Prowess since the Sahili seems so bad. 
I don't I don't hate playing a rest in peace. I don't hate playing a rest in peace. They have a lot of card a lot of flashback cards. I think I'm just gonna submit them. Well, keep. Augmenter Pugilist. Three mana, five, five trample. If you control eight or more lands. Or three mana, three, three trample. If you control eight or more lands, it gets plus five, plus five. It's cool. So I'm probably getting basic planes next turn. Let's draw basic planes. The other side is. Choose target creature you control. Each other creature of it becomes a copy of it. Hmm. Doesn't seem that good. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, I'm a little worried about Bone Crusher Giant. So I kind of just want to play Wall of Omens here. Maybe this is too cowardly. They missed their third land drop. So now we have we have infinite life two turns from now because we drew the second guardian. So I think it's good to play the champion here. I will play around Bone Crusher Giant by not blocking. It seems pretty free to do to do this. They did find the third land. Oh. Huh. Nice. Well, good thing we have Sky Clay for this. Stack it so we do gain the life after the Frostodon dies. I don't. I don't. I don't think I can block this this Swift Spear with the Champion because of Bone Crusher Giant prevent stopping the protection from saving, saving me here. So I'll just attack. So we draw Glass Pool Mimic. We get we gain infinite life next turn. If not, we can you know wait a couple turns. We can make, just go Guardian Flicker Apparition. XL this if they do nothing. They play Blood Moon. You know, if they play a three drop, we'll exile the three drop. Blast Soul doesn't answer to Aryak Champion. It's pretty cool. There's going to main phase stomp. Okay. It's fine. So I guess we're going to go Guardian into Watcher here. We're now insulated from Blood Moon. Although it didn't seem like my opponent valued blood moon very much because they uh they discarded both of them last game so i'm not you know anticipating them playing a million blood moons in this matchup well i was saying this earlier like compare especially compared to the heliod infinite life combo which gets broken up by lightning bolt this combo does not get broken up by lightning bolt which is very interesting to me i'm getting another champion you missed infinite life i think i i don't think so how did i miss infinite life I had, I had to exile the Ferocidon. We can, we can go for it next turn. I'm confused. Yeah, Guardian can't flicker itself. Is that the confusion? It, Guardian, if Guardian could flicker itself, it would just not be legal and modern. Is there merit to being four-color Ephemerate deck for Sahili combo and Ewit? Um, I think it's very difficult to make Aryak Champion and Skyclave work in a four-color mana base. I did... I thought about trying to make it work, but I didn't even like make a draft because I wasn't sure the mana would would be there. Like e Eternal Witness is also double green, you know, so like you're s splashing a double green card. You probably play Ice Fang, maybe Wall of Blossoms over this, but oh wow, we drew Glass Pool Mimic. So that would have been Infinite Life in last turn, but this turn. This gives us a little bit of redundancy. All right, so let's get the yields going. Always yes, always yield. Three and oh, three and oh. I mean, five voting with this deck would be really cool. Love to pick up a trophy. I guess if like death and taxes is really popular, we can play that. 
I put some mold to five on the play. It's probably not to play against Tron again. We played against like oh, so much Tron and Prowess today. Kind of over it, you know. All right. Well, we do have a lot of cyborg cards for the matchup, at least. And they did mold a five. All right, so no turn three Tron is a big deal. Where did they want to just sack the sphere to cast this? Especially because it gives them more information. They got they got another star. I guess the first star. Okay, yeah, Tron could beat Infinite Life with uh, Karn the Great or Karn Liberated, just to restart the game, or Uga, or Ulamog just uh, mills you out. I think it's important to have a Glass Pool Shore in play so that way you can combo off with Soul Herder and Feldar Guardian. So I've been I've been prioritizing getting one into play instead of holding it if I feel like I do have a good ratio of lands and spells. A turn four Tron on the play is probably good enough though. I'm probably gonna Skyclave that Chromatic Star. It's so another combo piece, I guess. We could maybe go like end of turn violent soul herder, then make infinite power. Obviously we have to draw the, the, the guardian first. This matchup seems rough. Um we haven't lost to it today. We, we lost to Etron earlier, we've also beaten Etron, I think we're two and zero against Green Tron today. We have a lot of sideboard cards. We have three spheres and two riders and three fours and a Vendillion click. But yeah, but yeah, I but also I, I agree, I think this matchup is rough. Okay, Worm Coil Engine is pretty beatable, I think. Yeah, it's pretty beatable. Notably, we don't have any way to kill them this turn, because we can make infinite power, but we, we can't attack through this, and uh, assuming we draw the Guardian, of course. Which is not a foregone conclusion. Oh, we also don't have Ephemerate up. Can keep a watcher. Watcher can watcher actually digs pretty deep, which is part of the reason why you play it in the stack. So if they brick if they brick again this turn, we actually have just a decent a decent number of ways to to win next turn. We'll probably take this vial up to four, so that way we can dig for a guardian and then try to vial it in. Then jump block here. If they play O-Stone, we can maybe Skyclave it. I guess they'll have five mana up, but maybe they'll like star into O-Stone or something. Yeah, Wormcoil, definitely beatable. So we have now three looks at a Feldar Guardian and maybe have some more time too. So I'm gonna take up both my vials. We're drawing again, uh, Watcher for tom Watcher of tomorrow, for tomorrow, something. So I think I'm gonna just float white white here in case I find another ephemerates. Could just be a you know another ponder. There's the guardian. Ding 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 ding. Winner winner chicken dinner. And they kind of dismember, I guess. Is there any way to play around dismember? Yeah, yeah, what we could do here though now that we found another ephemerate, we get to at least at least like if they wait until this trigger resolves, we can protect the combo with another ephemerate. But if they dismember right now, then we get got. Yeah, Watcher is pretty important to this deck. Somebody somebody uh on Twitter was saying, I like the deck, but can we play something besides Watcher? But they also didn't like suggest anything else. They just said can we play something else and I have no idea what you'd play instead. Watcher feels like very important to the deck. Awesome. Well, we got pretty lucky to win that game. And I will say that winning game one, I think, gives us an excellent chance to win the match because we have nine sideboard cards. 
I think this has been my sideboard plan. Looks pretty good. Yeah, and nobody has made me click through the combo today, which is pretty cool. Although I think my uh, round one opponent would have, but because <laughs> they were pretty salty, I drew all these avalanche riders. The Skyclave stay in. Oh, maybe I should. I, I Skyclave hits Oblivion Stone, and it is good against Card the Great Creator. But I, I, I do actually think I want to trim one. Sand's probably a little too slow in the draw. I'm gonna mulligan. Sand's also pretty slow. I kind of want to find just Damping Sphere, you know. Probably have to keep this on five. And pro you know, probably not win this game. <laughs> We could we could draw damping sphere. Draw force maybe. Into Soul Herder Avalanche Riders, of course. And maybe they'll just have worm coil engines again. I just want the land. In the past I had to choose between Watcher and Spreading Main since the PTQ time was heavy on trying to pick the latter. Yeah, I mean I think this version is very different, right? Where like in the past cat combo decks, you know, they're not like Soul Herder Ephemerate decks. They're like mid-range control decks with the twin style combo finish. But specifically like for, for this deck, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to play Spreading Seas over Watcher because you need the density of creatures for Soul Herder Ephemerate Aether Vial. Maybe one or two flibble flip over Watcher. Hmm. I could see maybe a flibble flip over a Thraben. We just concede. Yeah, let's go game three. Flibble flip no notably doesn't let you draw two cards when you flicker it, right? It has to enter from your library. Been loving six with Toski, but Spoil Clare feels not great. Hmm. I think I agree with you. Maybe we could play something besides Queller. I'm not sure. I feel like Skyclave is really hard on the mana. Oh yeah, you also can't Ephemerate Fool Flip, it just dies, that's right. Yeah, never mind. Ah, oh, don't have the second land. This hand's so close though. Go to five. That sounds way better. So I think I'm putting it back. I really want to keep Soul Herder Avalanche Riders. Kind of greedy. I wish I could have Wall of Omens. Yes. Just one more land. First time check catching us here from YouTube and Twitter. Awesome. Welcome to this channel, Safe Swim. Just one more land in the top two. I guess it can't be a tap land, of course. You know what? Let's actually play Sahili. It's going scry us into a land. And we can also... I, I, I'll be content with uh, getting to copy Avalanche Riders with Sahili's ability next turn. So looking for an untapped land. I'm, I'm not going to keep a tapped land on top, I don't think. <sighs> I I know earlier I said I've never bought up an ephemerate in my life, but have to there, I think. Wait, they still got Power Plant, not Blast Zone? Do they have O-Stone? O-Stone takes two turns to get us here. Is this deck the real deal? I mean, we're 10 and 3 on the day, which is stellar for a new brew. Uh, and it's the deck has felt quite good to me, so you know, you can define real deal however you like, but I will say I think this deck is good. Yeah, but it might have just like not forgot Damping Sphere. Yeah, I thought they fixed that, or maybe they have an answer to Sphere, like a claim or something. Although, if it's if this is a if this is a if this is like Wilt, they can't kill the Damping Sphere because their spells cost one more. I think they have like Wilt or. You know, naturalize, and they can't cast it here. All right, untapped land means we probably just can't lose. We did scry card to the bottom. We are a 24 land deck, but four of those lands are glass mimics, so they'll only guess three at this point. Modest, thank you for the raid. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. 
All right, I'm just gonna try to guarantee a land drop next turn, or not 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 guarantee, but okay. Well, oh wait, right, right. So never mind, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna get Arid Mesa here. We don't want Mystigate with Damping Spear in play. Now, if we if we sack the Sahili to copy Riders next turn, we lose the ability to combo with the Guardian. That's right there. But if they like, if they play like yeah, if they play O Stone, we probably have to. Maybe we don't. Let's see what we draw. If I draw a Fimrate, we don't have to. Oh, Soul Herder also makes infinite power. Soul Herder makes infinite power with the yeah yeah. So we don't we don't need the Sahili. So yeah, we can go we can go Riders. Blow up two Tron pieces here. Hit them for six, and then next turn we play Soul Herder while they're rebuilding. Flicker Watcher, and then the next turn we play Guardian Flicker Glasspool Shores, and then make infinite power with two with with the Soul Herder triggers and then two Guardians. And then they should they can't O stone us if that's you know just their only plan here. Yeah, good mold of five. I heard all the words you said but did not understand them. Well, hopefully I'll be able to just show you. I know I know that's a kind of a there's a lot going on. I was hoping to draw a blue card, but that would just be the nuts, you know. How many trial matchups today? A lot. I don't know how many though. Tap out. I guess if they have okay. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, two Feldar Guardians and a Soul Herder in play is infinite power, which I think is the first time we've like I mean we haven't won the game with it yes yet, but it's the first time we've been able to. I doubt my opponent sees this coming, you know. Does this deck win any Teferi in the sideboard? I thought about it. Obviously, when you have a new brew like this, it, it takes some time before you figure out the sideboard. Definitely an option. GG. I guess I need to start all the yielding. I, I mean, it's, it's like obviously very understandable for our opponent to not like really know what's up yet. Not realize they're dead. As I'm sure there are some people in chat who don't really understand what's going on. You're only going to 15 power. I mean, 11 or less than that even. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna just kill them. Four and O. Oh. Maybe you can play two to by cutting one three and one glass pool. I feel like I would never cut a glass pool. I, I will also say, like, in the main deck, adding more three drops doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I know Glass Pool Mimic is mostly a land in this deck because you really want to play it and then do what we just did. But we already have so many three drops and we already have three mana Planeswalkers that I don't think you want to ferry. Uh, I could be wrong, though. All right, what trophy are we on? Trophy 11. I think we missed trophy 12 yesterday. I also played for 5 0 with this deck last night and missed. Uh, Sand Slow. It is a. This the vial is kind of hard to mulligan though. The blind. <sighs> Come on. We did just beat Tron. I don't think Tron like we have a lot of cyborg cards for the matchup. Just like we played against so much Tron today. And I I don't think the matchup I don't think the matchup is great. But with all our side oh it's Etron. <laughs> don't matter shape for me please thank goodness. The collective sigh of it just being Etron, which is a much, much better matchup. Like all of a sudden these Skyclaves are just pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of Tron yesterday too. Okay, we have Skyclay for Karn, which is really good because it is it's shutting off our vial. Hopefully they just get uh coding. Thank goodness they didn't get Torpor Orb. We can never be Orb. Mm. 
Even if you're a true drop to violin, it's pretty good. Maybe this would be some disenchants in the board for Orb. I don't know, like Orb is only, it's only in this matchup, you know? This is the only deck that plays Torp Orb that's at least common. Or like, and it's like you have to draw your disenchants and, and they have to like resolve Karn and resolve Orb. This feels like a lot needs to go, like, I, I just don't think it's, I think it's just a bit too narrow, you know? It's not so bad for us. They kind of, they have the plus, they're just gonna get their Karn attack down. Um, I guess I want to take Glass Pool Mimic, so that I can try to infinitely combo with my Soul Herder next turn, with the and the two Guardians. Is not getting Torpor or Brood, or <laughs> I mean, they might just like not know what we're playing. Or what we're playing. That being said, like we're like super screwed if they have Orb. Although I guess Soul Herder can get really big and maybe kill them. Well, they do plus. Oh, we drew glass pull in the neck. Interesting. So I guess I'm going to exile their Mind Stone. This is giving them a 4 4 token, but. I don't care about their map so much. We have inf uh, I guess I guess giving them the four four tokens kind of bad, right? Because then they have now they have a blocker for our soul herder. But next next turn, soul herder's infinite power uh, by guardian flickering the mimic land. Not huge, but I could have attacked for two. Yeah, yeah. Could have all his dust here, I guess. Pass. Weird. Weird champ. They have to block the Soul Herder here, but they don't necessarily know that. I guess they could have Dismember pretty easily, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they could have cast all his dust off the temples. They, d they didn't. Uh, I'm assuming they don't have it. So our soul herders become infinitely big. We gotta deal to these. Part of almost didn't block the soul herder. We don't, I'm only just gonna I guess I guess I'll make them 2020s. Oh, they could just blast zone though. Mm. It's a problem. I mean, it is their whole turn if that's what they do. Why play the second sword or die to the blast zone? Yeah. When we get the trigger off of it, it like forces them to do it. We get to draw, uh, we get two watcher triggers. No normally you wouldn't get two watcher triggers, but we can flicker a guardian. It's a lot of clicks. All right, these, I'll, I'll do it one more time, but then they're going to be 2020s on our end step. So I'm going to say yes, copy, and then I'll flicker Watcher. I, I, I did say always yes, but the problem is I have to stack the triggers every time. That's what's taking so long. I thought I thought I clicked always yes. Maybe I didn't, actually. All right, so, so Healy lets us win next turn. Oh, I guess... I guess if they don't immediately sack the blast zone, it's not true, and they probably will not immediately sack.
Yeah, yeah, they're, they're gonna blast zone on three. Maybe we can find our Vincer. Vincer would be the best card to find. We have a lot of looks. Can we play two Sahili's next turn somehow? No. Yeah, I'll just keep the combo in my hand then. Triggers, triggers, triggers. Probably can't play this deck like too often or my hand's just gonna fall off. Blast Zone, pretty bad though, because they are the, uh, the Matter Reshaper deck, so this actually makes them lose their own Matter Reshaper, which is uh, a fate worse than death. You draw a land, you can play two Sahili bouncing a land. Uh, what a huge punt to main phase this. Huge punt. I mean, it, it is difficult to play against new combo decks, of course. Or, I guess not, this deck's not that new, but there's, you know, new angles of attack here, right? Somehow we're, like, just barely behind on time. Like, we're one minute ahead on time. Or, or behind on time. Could we make the big herder, then copied Apparition to remove the blocker? The blocker was a token. So you you know so you couldn't have uh, Skyclave can't deal with tokens. So I've been sliding in a, I think a very similar way to the the Tron matchup, um, except I don't bring in the click and I leave in the fourth Skyclave. I know I left in the fourth Skyclave against Tron last time, but I think I was supposed to leave in one Vile instead. And sideboard like this, or you know what? Uh, Inspector is probably worse than Wall in this matchup. I guess in both matchups because of Karn. This looks pretty good to me. One more game, baby. One more game. What was the ratio of uh, believers to non-believers like? 61% believers? Awesome. You love to see it. I also see Evan was the biggest believer. With 250,000 on yes. I don't think that's even all in for Evan. Evan, are you going to get to a million? Are you going to get to a million if you win? Can we get the two million maybe? Oh, 250K is the max bet. I didn't even know that. I think I'm keeping this. No, if you lost 250K last time, so it goes. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't lose another 250K. Opponent's bold to five. I will force a turn one map. I'll turn one map. I'll, I also need to force a uh, chalice because I have double ephemerate. I like how the VIP is a diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, well, the the Mary option is two million, but yes, if you get to if you get to two million, you get the rock. Huh. Should I play? Should I get a basic here? I think I'm just getting uh, sacred foundry. Although I I have more I actually have more red cards than I usually do because I have a uh, avalanche riders usually I just play just the Sahelias are the only red cards so let's hope not to see Urz is mine no thank you It'd be pretty bad if they go land chalice though. I think I'm not gonna main phase the ephemerate. And we ha okay, we also have to make sure that they don't matter reshaper us here. We can't beat matter reshaper. Please don't have it. No. Oh, put it with the matter reshaper pump fake. Do you need to draw land here to riders? It is almost like they heard me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're a fan of the stream. Let's main phase this. Try to find a land. And then probably play Damping Sphere second. 
And then I'm pro I'm probably not going to I'm probably not going to rebound the ephemerate. So I can guarantee I can play riders this next turn. So we go riders into riders, pay for echo, and then a symbol, you know, start flickering the riders. Okay, that's totally fine. My opponent rolled to five. Trophy! Praise Clothis! All right, 12 and three on the day. 12 and three on the day. That's awesome. I just love it when, I just love when a brew comes together, you know?